The Republicans in the House and Senate certainly don't like President Obama's budget, but they've been quarreling among themselves over what to do about it. Let's bring in uh, Senator John McCain, Republican of Arizona, the uh, former Republican presidential nominee. Senator McCain, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Wolf. I've interviewed some of your colleagues in the Senate, uh, Senator Ensign, for example, from Nevada. He says what the Republicans should do is uh, uh, propose amendments to the Democratic budget and argue that way. You don't think that's necessarily such a great idea. You want to have a formal Republican response. Well, I think we should have both, Wolf, and I'm confident that Senator Ensign and the overwhelming majority of Republican senators will vote for our alternative. Uh, but I do believe that it's important to have an alternative. We had an alternative to the stimulus. We had an alternative to the omnibus bill. The role of the, of the loyal opposition is not just to oppose, but to have our own agenda and vision for the future as well. Because uh, the White House and the Democrats, they keep harping. The Republicans are simply the party of no, 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 no. And you say, yes, uh, there should be an alternative. But do you have the leadership of the Republican uh, Senate leadership uh, with you, like Senator McConnell, for example, yes. your colleague, Senator Kyle? Uh, are they proposing a formal alternative uh, to the Democrats? Uh, we, I will be introducing it this evening, and, I'm, and I have their support, and uh, I'm sure we'll have their votes as well. What does your proposal do for the working class, for the average American, that President Obama and, and the Democrats' proposal doesn't do? Well, I don't know anything that, that the other proposal, the President's proposal does, except saddle our kids and grandkids with a mountain of debt. Uh, we freeze discretionary spending except for defense and veterans. Uh, we ha have set up a uh, uh, bipartisan commission to address Social Security and Medicare, which according to all observers is going to go broke and is unsustainable. Uh, we don't raise anybody's taxes, no matter who they are. And uh, we reduce the deficit dramatically so that we're not laying a multi-trillion dollar debt on future generations of America. So what's the bottom line number that you have? What he has, he, he proposed $3.6 trillion. What's your number? Ours is 3.3 to start, 2.3 to start with. But the point is over cumulative, over time, ours is 3.3. Over time, it mounts up to a multi-trillion dollar deficit, uh, difference. A, a multi-trillion uh, over 10 years, let's say. Is that what yes. you're saying? Yes, and the present budget proposal we are considering it's only for five years, and that's because they're putting off the tough decisions that are going to have to be made during the next five years. The Republicans have 41 votes uh, in the Senate, as you know. Uh, is there really, realistically, uh, is there any chance your alternative could get uh, 50 or 51 votes? No, but I think it pre pre presents our vision for the future of the country. I think that it is a basis for negotiations. I hope that for the first time really on a major issue that the administration and the democrats will sit down with us and try and negotiate a budget that is truly bipartisan which we haven't done for years either republican or democrat uh, but also this i hope sparks a debate all over america about what we need to do for our futures as well as the present and i believe that this kind of as i say the staggering debt is generational theft uh, the the uh, Democrats think they have the votes in the House, certainly, and in the Senate to get their budget passed on Thursday. That would be tomorrow. Do you think they do? That they do in the Senate? That they, that they have 50 votes in the Senate? I, I, I'm, sh I'm sure that they will. I'm, that we will pass the, um, it's very likely we will pass the Democrat budget proposal tomorrow night or Friday. The Democratic version? Yes. Yeah.